welcome inside Caltire Place. My goodness, does it feel good to say that. You know, it's a hard thing to market a home opener in late September when the weather is nice. It fall is in the air, but it's still beautiful here in the Okanagan. But I'll tell you what, if they get between 2,200 and 2,500, that is a big success here. People have been talking about this game all week. They can't wait for it to finally be here. We're through the anthem. Let's go. Charlie Kressel back in the lineup. He's got it along the left wall. Sends one to the right point. Here's Cooper Cleaves. Nice play right side. Give and go. Too many passes. Kressel hit the outside of the net. Great chance. Here's Cleaves. Right side. He'll shoot. That's stopped by Labre. Prayer to Kier Costas. Back across high slot. Give and go. One too many passes. Knocked away. But the Warriors get the puck back and they score. The Vipers fail to clear the zone. And Dylan Crayer able to rifle it over the shoulders. 1-0 West Kelowna. Yeah, just a, a bit of a broken play there for the Warriors. And Warrior forward just chipped it to the middle right in front of the crease, and Crayer was right there. He chip shot, puts it right up over the glove of Ray. Carter Oakenfold, who had the big goal last night for West Kelowna, gets to the blue line. Look how it's poked away. McGinley's going to try break away. Here's Carson McGinley into the backhand. Rolled off his stick. He couldn't get the shot away. And again, the Vipers are not without their chances. McDonald, left side, Bush, drop pass into the skates of Cleves. He keeps the play alive, and he scores! A four on, two rush to perfection. It's Will Schumacher again, and the Vipers have tied it up. It's 1-1. Yeah, and Schumacher, how impressive has he been to start off this season? Kind of just gets open right by the, by the right dot, and then he just wires it right up over the Warriors' goaltender's shoulder. For Schumacher, his second goal and fourth point of the season. It was a nice entry into the zone. They looked like they were about to fumble it, but they still executed a chance. And the Vipers get a huge goal back. It's 1-1 here in the first. Ahead to Carson McGinley, trying to drop pass. Look out, too many bodies up ice, and the Warriors come back. Play to the left wing, driving wide, centering pass, they score. Dylan Crayer again as the Vipers on a bad rush up ice, got caught. And crayer has got a pair, and the Warriors take the lead back. It's 2-1. Pass down low to the middle, Ray down, and another body on top of him, and now there's a Warrior still on top of him. Play's gonna continue, he's, boy oh boy, that's a little awkward in there. Cleves is gonna drag his man out of there. Warriors keep possession. So eight and a half remaining here, first period. 2-1, West Kelowna leads as Cal Hughes spins away. He's into the zone, Hughes got upended, and there's gonna be a penalty on the Vipers as Ray has to make a save. And now here's a steal by McCloskey ahead to Stavrinaeus. Two on one shorthanded. Stavrinaeus, Pastro is in. Stopped by Labre and the rebound goes to the corner. Great chance for Pastro. This place would have come unglued as he steals another one. Pastro knocked off the puck on a solid check in the slot. Brendan hustling to join him. McGinley to Brendan down low. He'll wait for some help. Brendan feeds one in front. Nice play. Quick shot stopped by Labre. That was... Simon Binkley eyeing his first BCHL goal. Graziano centering pass, finds Hughes, good save, there's a rebound! Ray fights it off and Dunn gloves it to the corner. That puck knuckled and Ray going the wrong way. Was able to get the right arm on it to keep it two to one. Warriors continue to cycle the puck, here's a pass across, they score, Cal Hughes. The Vipers with a bad turnover and it was chaos from there. As Cal Hughes finishes off the third good look that the Warriors had on that shift, and they lead three to one. Lloyd, Schumacher, Bush, near side, Stavry, and there is! Labre got a cross. Right along the ice it went through, and blue line cleaves with a wrist shot. Look out, it was blocked, and now a chance. Dan Kona in alone, shoots, stopped by Ray. Great chance there to blow this one open, and Colin Ray is best save of the night. Here's Kalgren back in, driving wide. Elias Kalgren, weak shot stopped by Ray, tries to jam away at it, hits a couple of bodies, and Ray was able to pounce on it. Kalgren got absolutely buried in front by Marco Stoikov. Knocked away, Vipers had numbers up ice. And now they harass, and it's poked away shorthanded. Stavri Aeneas with Bibby. Stavri Aeneas scores! <laughs> Put that one in the shorthanded column as big as it gets in this young season. The Vipers have cut the deficit. It's three to two. The pressure the Vipers are sending on the penalty kill is so obviously glaring to see. 
as soon as the Warriors lose that puck, as soon as there's any sort of doubt that they're going to keep it, you see three Vipers swarm to it. We saw it on that play there. Stavrinaeus starts breaking back the other way, shows off good speed, and then fires it right across the net to the far side, beats Lobry to the glove. Time of the shorthanded goal, 18-37. That was a 2 on 0 Sometimes you'll see guys make the pass. Stavrinaeus says, eh, eh. Krayer, right side. Kirkostas holding back across. Krayer, oh, what a stop by Colin Ray. Wow. Right leg robbery to keep this game 3-2. to two. Mark that save down. Ten bell save there for Ray to stick that pad out. Played up the boards, held on by Schottmeyer, fired to the net, it hit a body in front, Ray down, loose puck, where is it? And it's off a stick and wide. Great chance there for the Warriors, that puck wouldn't settle. Driving wide on the left wing, throws the brakes on pressure immediately, nice play, here's Brendan, he's got a man in front, loose puck, a score, Charlie Kressel! The Viper power play strikes, Kressel's got his first in the BC Hockey League, and most importantly, this game's tied, it's 3-3. You said it best, Graham, not that long ago, actually. What do you do if you can't get set up in zone? Well, you score off the rush. And, and for the Vipers, it was Kressel waiting back door, a perfect pass. And he waited for it, he tapped it in. Obviously, no chance for Lobry. Charlie Kressel's got his first in the BC Hockey League. The Vipers are on the board, on the power play. It's 3-3, time of that goal, 6-12. Now the Vipers need to resist the urge to turn it into a track meet, though. Here's a chance into the zone. Hughes, goal post and out as he carried on on a bouncing puck. Great right chance. Here's Krayer, high slot shot squeezed by Ray. As we get some pushing and shoving in front. A pair of Carsons gain the zone. McGinley ahead to Pastro. Nice move. Pastro in on the backhand. Stop the rebound. Labre got a toe on it on a bouncing puck. Schumacher with McDonald. McDonald out of midair. Fired wide as it was partially deflected. Here's Bush back in, firing one of the net, it was blocked. Kirkostas, the forward, will wheel into the Viper zone, cutting into the middle, drifting wide with a shot that deflected just wide, the rebound, oh, that hit Ray and went wide, and now the Vipers will go up three on two. McDonald tried to thread the needle, McGinley back in, Lombre, a great stop with a right pad to keep this one 3-3, three, three. what a pass for McDonald. And McGinley's upset, he thought he had it. It was in so tight, and he held his ground and kept that pad out. Watched by Malone, he'll shoot, and that's off the shoulder of Labre. Now the Vipers trying to center one, look out, that one's intercepted, and the Warriors go two on one. Oakenfold, right side, shooting, he scores. Carter Oakenfold. Ends this one in overtime on a two on one and you can thank Dawson Labre for that one. He makes a highlight reel save on Carson McGinley and the Warriors come back and spoil the party. 4-3 the final score.